Welcome to this tutorial that will explain how to configure ALM Octane to enhance the reported source control commit data for your project. ALM Octane pipelines represent the flow of your CI server jobs and steps. Use pipelines to get a clear overview of the build status and to track and monitor quality and analytics of the pipeline runs. So, let's navigate to the pipelines module. We've set up ALN Octane to integrate with a CI server that works with a source control management system such as Git or SVN. ALN Octane will track these changes that have been committed to source control. Clicking on the commits link will drill down to the commits related to this pipeline run. As you can see, we have three commits related to this pipeline run. Clicking on a specific commit will show us the file changes related to it. We will focus on commit configuration with the following steps. One, how to link the changed files to the repository viewer so that you can see the actual change. Two, how to link the source control user to the Octane user in order to display commit analytics related to him or her. Three, commit patterns that links a commit to a story in Octane. So let's navigate to the settings area. In the DevOps tab, we can see a list of SCM repositories. This list of SCM repositories are automatically added after the first time commits are reported as part of a pipeline run. In the right panel, you can see a detailed explanation on how to configure the file link template and diff link template. The file link template is a link to the repository viewer where you can view the file for a specific revision. The diff link template is a link to the delta between this and its previous revision. Below, you can see an example of how the template should look for the Atlassian Bitbucket repository viewer. Our repository viewer is GitHub, and we will need to define the template accordingly. In the ALM Octane online help, you can find templates for several repository viewers. Under the topic Customize your SCM system integration, you can scroll down to the subtopic Enable linking to your repository viewer. Click on Examples to expand. We can see templates for GitHub. These examples can be copied to a text editor. We need to now modify these links so that they point to our repository on GitHub. I copy the GitHub repository URL from the browser address bar. And now I replace the username and the repository name. The templates are ready. Set the templates in the relevant SCM repository entry. File link template and diff link template. Now let's go back to our commit. We can see that two links are associated with each file change. Clicking on the source link will show the file from the specific revision. And clicking on the diff link will show us the difference between this revision and the previous one. In case you're using a different repository viewer and need to construct the templates by yourself, you can follow these guidelines. For example, in GitHub, I can click on the commits, click on the specific commit, and click on the view. I copy this link and this will be the file link. I can then click on the history, click on another revision, copy the link and this will be the diff link. Now let's copy the revision placeholder and replace the revision number in the URL. Then we copy the file path placeholder and replace the file path in the URL. You can see that the diff link template is slightly different than the one I copied from the documentation. However, both link formats are valid and can be used. Now we will see how to map ALM Octane users to SCM users. Identifying the users who commit changes as ALM Octane users enables you to analyze the commit information using the ALM Octane widgets, filters, and other tools. Each committer is identified by his email address. To find your user's email in Git, open the command line tool and type the following command, 
git config user email. ALM Octane users are also identified by email, and Octane automatically maps the SCM user to the ALM Octane user by comparing their email address. When there is no match, this mapping needs to be done manually. Here we have three commits done by Yaniv Levy. However, the Octane user field is empty because no match was made and therefore we will populate this field manually. Let's have a look in Jenkins job build number 31. In this build, we have three commits made by the user Yaniv Levy. From LM Octane's pipeline overview, we can delve into build number 31 and see three related commits which are the same as were reported by Jenkins. This SEM user is currently not mapped to any Octane user. The logged in user can map himself to an SEM user by selecting a commit and clicking on map SEM user to my Octane user and all commits are now mapped to the Octane user. In addition, as a shared space admin, you have the ability to map or unmap SCM users. Let's map an SCM user to Manuel Graham. Only the shared space admin has the permissions to remove mappings. You probably noticed that each commit is linked to a defect or user story. From the commits grid, the user can easily navigate to the link story. and from the story to display all of its linked commits. This linkage is done by using a commit pattern. Here are the default commit patterns. When a developer commits its code, she should follow the commit pattern in order to create a link to the story that she works on. The commit patterns can be defined by the workspace admin. Let's navigate to the settings area, DevOps tab, and select commit patterns. Here, we can define the commit pattern for each entity type. The pattern is defined as a regular expression. To validate the patterns, click on Validate Commit Pattern. Enter commit message and click Validate. Commit can be linked to a defect, two defects, or a combination of a defect and a user story. Entering a commit message that doesn't match the pattern will return no matches. As a workspace admin, you can modify the pattern. Let's remove the hash from the defect pattern and run validation again. This time, validation has passed. Now we are ready. We have configured the file changes links, mapped SCM users to ALM Octane users, and each commit message is linked to a story according to the pattern that we defined. Thank you for watching this video, and for more information, please see the online help.